words. I got P money hating on me, I'm stating it, fuck him. I'm sicker than a chipmunk dedication to youngin. I'm skydiving with your guy crying, I'll fly by him and pow drive him to help him die trying and when he's down to a hundred feet, I'll grab that parachute from under me to see his expressions looking so ugly cause me What's up guys? Two blunt in the building Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy Two Blunt back in the building. I don't know why I said yo, 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 but you already know what time it is. I know I'm super late with these these beef tracks with, with K-Coke and, and uh, Nines and also P-Money and Dot Rotten, Zeph Ellis, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, I'm back in the building. Like I said, got my setup clean and stuff. I might change it up, change the colors a little bit. But uh, we're going to be getting on to this beef between P-Money and and Dot Rotten, two heavy hitters in the grime scene. Now I listened to Pete, no, I listened to Dot Rotten's Fire in the Booth. It had no instrumental, like yeah, he could have could have given us a little instrumental or something because it ain't like the track was like super emotional or something where you you wouldn't need an instrumental to actually feel it. But it was like eight minutes of just bars, which they were nice bars, dope bars. Of course, is Dot Rotten. He has like some of the hardest bars out there. I'm checking out the Dot Rotten organized grime freestyle. It's a P Money disc. I heard they were beefing on Twitter after the the fire in the booth or whatever, and Dot Rotten drops this. So I'm gonna listen to see what he said in it, and then I'm gonna go check out P Money's respond with real talk, and then so on and so on. Might do two a day or something like that. Not two every day, but two beefs a day to you know catch up on it. And I'm gonna start with the K Coke and Nines beef stuff going on with that. So yeah. Let's jump into this one. Let me put my phone on vibrate so no one calls me or anything. Let's go. Alright. somebody he we was like probably dissing them with on twitter or something like that because i never heard that name so uh i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research after this Wait. 
Did he say he beating up? He beat up girls or something? That's an accusation, or did that really happen? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Now, P Money, not P Money, freaking Dot Rodden is freaking sick, man. He's, I'm sure you guys heard that. Shit, P Money, he's, he's, he's holding it down right now. I want to hear the response now, even though I'm two minutes in talking about shit. When I was around, your dreams were shattered. Now I'm gone. You're trying to act like a big man in the house, huh? But I'm back. Take the house down. saying he would roll deep using that as a double entendre with the roll deep crew to go down and beat his ass or some shit like that or mm, I don't know but that's a hard bar though I'm a with a respected segment I'm a trophy and a forensic segment okay. oh that's another one there Bailey, I'll still roll deep to Paris I'm a with a respected segment damn he's a war with a respected segment damn this this is a hot ass diss track I can't even get through the whole song yet. I'm sorry if I keep pausing it, but I have to take in the bars. I can't just listen to the whole song for the people that are, that are gonna be like, yo, stop pausing it, stop pausing it. How you expect me to take in the bars if I just listen to the whole song and try to remember it later? It doesn't work like that, man. You gotta listen to it, once you catch it, you stop it and be like, you digest it, you feel what I'm saying? So if I keep pausing it, then what you need to listen, you, you can listen to the whole song yourself anyway. I'm just here to listen to the song and take out what I take out from it, so. For the people that are complain about, yo, two blunt, stop pausing the damn song. For what? I'm listening to it, and if I catch the bar, I'll let you guys know when I listen to it later. Put some subtitles up or something. You feel me? I'm a trophy, I'm a forensic swagman. I'm a baddest bitch, that P when he bats this bitch. This shit's called domestic violence. For eight years, I've avoided this bullshit. Four games, one, you can't this training. So I am just shit whaling. Calls me the major boy, so I protect his silence. Turns out, this is to keep this black man low. No, this is no ethnic violence. We could do close range of crackheads like cocaine, so when blades connect with that from Reckless right hand, jeez, that's that's some freaking brutal ass freaking graphic bars. I don't know the hell that is crawling on my wall. We gonna die tonight, but yo, that's some graphic shit going on right there, man. Once I'm crap 
Miss that last bar, man. Play that back. Freestyle, yo. Holy crap. Definitely gotta go and listen to P Money's response to this now. Yo, I didn't expect anything less from Dot Rotten on this track. This is what I like about it. There's no hook on it, just straight bars for what is it? Five minutes straight of dissing somebody, you know, and it's not slow rapping. He's rapping at a fast pace. You know how difficult that is to fit all those words into one song? Dissing somebody for that long and actually hitting bars consistently? God damn, yo. Dot Rotten. It's freaking sick on this one. But I want to hear Pete Money's response to it. So I'm going to be checking that out in the next video. If you guys haven't seen or heard this, make sure you check it out. I'll link it in the description down below. But I know I've been missing out on a lot of the beats. That's what I'm trying to catch up right now. So uh, I have to really listen to the song over and over to catch a lot of the bars. I don't have headphones right now. That's why I got to get super close to this laptop. Because some of the words just like fade out because uh, these speakers aren't the best. So I'm going to invest in some headphones pretty soon when I get some time or whatever probably save up some extra cash to do that because I got other priorities you know what I'm saying but yeah yo this this track here I can't really rate it out of a 10 I gotta listen to P Money's uh, Real Talk and then rate that and then rate this you feel what I'm saying but from what I heard from this one here is that what P Money got kicked out of the hood or something from according to him and uh Basically, Dot Rotten gave P Money life when he was in the scene, helping him out, couldn't take the studios and shit like that. And also, P Money beating on his girl or some shit like that. I don't know if that's true, but that's what Dot Rotten said like two or three times in this diss track. So I don't know if he's just pulling strings to, you know, get P Money pissed off or just some domestic violence going on. I don't know what's going on here. So let's hear what P Money has to say on the next video. So if you guys are still watching. Let me know what you're thinking about this beef going on. Don't let me know about the future stuff. I want to watch it myself and, and, and just investigate it myself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Make sure you guys check this out. It's too blunt. I'm out. I got to go get my eggs off the stove. Some hard-boiled eggs. You know what I'm saying?